we just showed up to the claim. We're gonna go see what kind of gold we got today. I haven't been back here for a couple weeks, so I'm super excited to be here. Looks like the uh, water levels are down quite a bit. So let's go uh, check it out. here last time I was working this uh, crevice right here um, as you can see there is some bedrock right under here a lot of great gravels here so I'm only gonna assume it's dropping off some great gold I was testing that hole last time and I was seeing colors shots all right we definitely have gold nothing too crazy but uh it is showing gold let's go but you know what they say that's a good sign that there could be gold around hey that's my line i just moved this big rock right here um i'm, I'm liking that material it's really sandy around here yeah no this stuff i'm really curious about that that's what you look for. Nothing crazy. We were there for what, two hours? Three hours? Two hours. <laughs> All right guys, we are back here for day two. I ran out of memory, we had to cut it short, but we're back here. I moved a bunch of big boulders and stuff like that, but didn't uh, have the opportunity to work it. So we're gonna head down there, unload the Jeep and see what kind of gold we can get. Looks like the water levels dropped even more. So that's awesome. But I'm gonna continue down here, work a couple buckets and see if there's any material right in this crevice here, so. about a half a bucket and it back a bit and there are some colors Let's go. I forgot my tripod so it's harder to show you but what I'm doing right now is filling buckets and then dumping some material like about a pan's worth of material in my pan classifying it down doing like two pans and then throwing some more material on and i'm just panning one whole bucket at a time so there's about a half a bucket worth of material there just gonna throw this back down put my classifier back on top fill a couple down and get it back down to i don't know just before the black sands really we'll report back to you a few moments so here's a full bucket worth of material got it down to uh to an amount that i can manage while I'm filming here. See, if there's not much in this pan, then I'm just gonna move over like literally a foot to the left.
couple little flakes, pretty much like the same, uh, just like the last pan there. Never any complaints finding gold in a beautiful place like this. So that's where I was working, you know, finding flakes. So I'll keep that in mind for today. But I just noticed this little pocket right here. So I'm gonna look around in here. It doesn't look like too bad a material. And this here could be acting as a little trap. It's a little wet today, but hey, another beautiful day on Vancouver Island, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, so this is from a bucket from right there. Jumping off a lot of lead shots, wow. I see some gold in there. It's harder to move the pan around properly right now, but piece right there, piece right there, and some pieces up there. It's pretty much the same as up there. And there, and there, and there, and there. Any gold is good gold, but I'm feeling a bit skunk today, but that's prospecting, man. All right, so here is a full bucket of material right here. Worked it down to the cons. Just gonna switch hands here. Let's see, was it a good decision to move down? Back down, I should say. Or back up, I guess, technically. Oh, is that a flake? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you see that? Let's go. Yes, sir. Hopefully that's not the only piece. That was an actual, uh, probably the best piece of the day so far. Just trying to be really careful as I can't reach in there with my hand and grab that bigger rock, so. But I guess I can. I'm just gonna do it like this. There we go. Okay, let's push this back a bit. Lots of lead shots again. Okay, yeah, that's the best piece of the day. Pretty happy about that. No, so, I just slammed my bucket down and broke it. Oh well, I'm so glad they're $3. So we're gonna pan this massively overfilled pan out and see if we can find any bigger gold like we were uh, last time there. I obviously can't show you guys every pan today, unfortunately, just cause uh, I did forget my tripod, but definitely some gold in there. So I'm just gonna keep working buckets. As long as the material isn't wet, then the gold won't leak out the bottom. See if I can show you guys decent gold at the end of the day here. Yippee! Kayakers going by there. Um, but I, I'm hitting bedrock here, so that's great. It's a great sign. I'm gonna keep plugging away down here. I could keep going that way too. But you know what? We got options, baby. Tons of lead shots again. one there was definitely a flash of something in here that kind of got me excited so okay I already see it let's get that big rock out of there and this time a bit better in hopes I don't lose it back into the river there we are a not bad little piece uh, is it in the picker category? I can pick it. Nice. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. Actually, it's raining. I don't want to do that. My luck, the raindrop will hit it, and it'll be back in the river. Yeah, it's definitely not a, it's definitely not a picker, but I could pick it, but it's just a nice flake. Keep in mind, it depends where you're panning, like out in Alaska. I don't know if you guys seen my, uh, I found my first gold nugget video, but there's people that would see that and say, that's a picker. It all depends where you're panning. 
that's pretty good for where I'm at. That's starting to lift my spirits about this place at least, you know, I, like I was only finding smaller stuff, so it's around. So I'm just here doing another bucket and I noticed that this piece is starting to move. Let's see if we can't get that up. I'm gonna do that off camera. That broke open beautifully for me, so oh, I can see that it fractured there a little bit too, but I've already got a full bucket, so I'm just gonna throw this material right into my pan there. Yeah, I definitely thought that I'd get more than that under that bedrock, but there was still, I don't know, four or five uh, specks there. There's another bucket. That's looking a lot better now. I wanna see what we got today. Let's dump it out and take a look. Chance here. Hey. I need a bit more water. Not a crazy day, but we didn't get skunked at least. There we are. So let's take it home and clean it up and weigh it up. So not even a point, but we're still gonna find that hot pocket there, I swear. Day three, I'm not giving up on this spot yet. I did a lot of work moving that material, so I gotta see what kind of gold is in there. And we got a new bucket. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> So I've been digging for like a good hour. I've just been going up along the bank trying to see if I could find a better pay layer. Um, but it turns out it's been under my feet this whole time. So I've just been going along right here with my tool, crevicing tool, and just going in along here. And I actually just did one pan and it's better than the buckets I've been doing. So that's awesome. So I don't know if you guys see my equipment list video for stuff like this. This thing is perfect. Get yourself a wire brush because you can clean it right off. Especially if you don't have a, a sucker or something to wash it off with water. This just kind of exposes all the bedrock again. Then I can go back with my crevicing tool and kind of dig out spots again. See like that's breaking out. So over here I am just working single pans because it depends on your ground. Like right here, obviously there's not a bunch of material, but I have to actually go in and be a little more tedious because it is bedrock. Stuff like this, I was working buckets because there was just a bunch more material, you know what I mean? So it calls for the bucket. So full disclaimer, I've done about 30 pans since I finally figured out that the whole time, it was on, under my feet, so. Few hours worth of work anyway. And I mean, I don't even know if there's anything in this pan, but. That last one was really great, so. I'm just gonna grab the camera. I already seen a piece of uh, gold. What? 
No way! I've been getting skunked for like two or three hours. Okay, let's go. That's the best pan of the day so far. So I got that first pan from like right in here and then I, the second pan started like right about there. I kept working up that way. So I'm gonna just try to work this way and see if there's any more material that, uh, any more gold that way. And that's just how it's been here. Just super spotty. I move over a foot and it's like a banger. But that's prospecting. And I obviously have much more material to work, so it's not like I'm giving up quite yet. And the truth of the matter is, I need to clean this stuff off a lot better, but I kind of broke my sucker by trying to fix it. I tried to make it better and made it worse. I gotta get that fixed again so I can get this stuff cleaned up better. So there's still a little bit of hope for me today. I'm gonna work along here. I just poked along and seen this piece of bedrock sticking out. So yeah, there's this little area right here. This river's so weird. So there's a couple flakes in that one. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Uh, money made the world go round. Alright. Shut like up and I walk that shit when I'm up that shit. I'ma start living reckless. Get that bag, I'ma 